Yeah. Sign box, unbox, when we open the door. New podcast dropping like Man, look at this setup. Ta da. Welcome, everybody, to episode one. We've said that how many times <laughs> throughout the years? Welcome to episode one of, Ep- one of Insert Here. Yes. Right? Um, I think this is going to be the the B-O-X, P-O-D. The B-O-X, P-O-D. Yes, the box B-O-X, pod. The box pod. Yeah, we even got a little. See, our creativity on lock here. Pod drop into talk here. You just point to swatch here. There you go. We we can talk about that a little bit later. We we're using Suno uh, for some generative AI music, some jams. Yes, right. One of very many tools that we've been using lately. But let's backtrack a little bit. If you're new to the podcast, I think now we're going to be on audio, so we might be on Spotify here. Um, my name is Charlie. I'm Nathan, and we're just a couple of guys who grew up in. Uh, El Paso, El Paso, Texas. A long time ago, mm-hmm. in back uh, in the '90s. Back in the '90s, uh, a couple of band nerds, yes, trumpet players, and um, we're sitting next to each other right now. We sat next to each other from middle school till till graduation. Yeah, <laughs> literally high graduation. Yeah. Yes, right. And so, yes. um, <laughs> through a lot of crazy, I don't know, um, what do you want to call it, but. Destiny, maybe, yeah. or Providence. Yes. It's probably more appropriate. Yes. We, f- we found our way back to okay. sitting next to each other, and now we're causing causing a ruckus here. Yeah. In, now here we in, are. In technology. Yes. Um, but yeah, anyways, my, my background is uh, I spent, you know, years in Silicon Valley doing my thing there um, during the dot-com boom. That's right. Right? Mm-hmm. While you were doing what? I... I went into advertising. So I worked in a bunch of ad agencies. Yeah. Doing commercial stuff. Kind of madman like, but Yeah. But all I heard was, man, it was crazy 10, 15 years ago, 20 years oh, ago. Yeah. You missed the crazy days. <laughs> so the crazy days. And now I look back and I'm like, man, y'all miss the crazy days yeah. <laughs> compared to where it is now too. Dude, so. tell me about it. So yeah. And we talk about kind of the, the dot com boom. Right, mm-hmm. Web One or whatever you want to call it, right? Yeah, yeah Web One, really. One point 90, yeah. 1998, 1999. Mm-hmm. That was in Mountain View, man. Like, Dude. blocks from Netscape, from Netscape. So, um, what we're really seeing, I mean, we thought, I mean, if you go back and look at some of our content, we thought Web Three was the next wave. Yes, right. This is kind of on the the heels of of COVID. But we were like, man, this is it. We're going to pivot again, mm-hmm. the agency just slightly. And this crypto thing is for real, blockchain, um, distributed uh, economies, mm-hmm. et cetera. And so we, we, we leaned into that. And then it kind of died off somewhat. Yeah. Right? Plus, we had a bit of a crash, economic crash. Yeah. And then... AI came out of nowhere, looks like. Right. And so this wave... Within months of each other. Oh, yeah, FTX, totally, totally. FTX blew up. Yep. And I think two months later, ChatGPT was released. Yeah. And so ever since then, we've just been like, okay, here we go. Right. And then we started attending um, events in San Francisco, which is where it seemed yes. to be concentrated. Yes. And... And you know us, we're, we're always curious. And so we, we went and participated and then quickly learned that this was the, the real deal. Mm-hmm. And, and it was like wildfire that caught. And so we pivoted yet again, just ever, you know, ever so slightly. And, but this is, this is real. Oh, and yeah. So yeah. even when we're sitting here on this couch <laughs> a year ago, we were talking about some of these technologies and how they were rapidly evolving but did we ever imagine a year ago when we we're sitting here um, saying that we would be actively using these tools in the agency to produce content and to build out and create the things that we've been creating? No, not this fast. Right? On a daily basis. No. No. 
It's it's just it's unbelievable. Like you you couldn't have, you you couldn't have predicted it. No, because we've seen waves of things pop up, and then they just take time and they either taper off or some big tech, you know, platform just releases some form of it, and then you're like, well, that was that. Yeah, and this was not right like like that at all. No, and so it's super super exciting. Because, um, in fact, we're going to spend some time here on, on this new pod. And um, I apologize for those of you that can't see what we're going to be sharing on the screen, but I'll try to walk through and explain in detail what, what we're doing here. But, um, in, th in fact, this is a good, probably a good title for the video. Like, we used generative AI to create commercials. Yeah. Like, commercials that not only have been on rotation on social media, but on television. Yeah. Rotation on, on television. Yeah. For a big brand, too. Yeah. Broadcast TV. Broadcast TV. Um, and so if you go back, um, we can probably give a little context, but we do some work. We we have a client that um, is called Beyond. Right. And they're kind of a, a reemergence of the old school Bed Bath & Beyond. Bed Bath & Beyond. But now right. they're all completely online. And so they are operating a lot like a startup. Right, Re resuscitating or bringing back these legacy brands like Bed Bath and Beyond, and, and now Overstock. Mm -hmm. And so Mark Simonis, who who we know, uh, came to us and said, "All right, we actually pitched, right? That's what we did. Mm -hmm. We were working on the Overstock website, and we pitched them a video idea. And yeah. you you created this video using just Mid Journey, right? Yeah, I just did like a storyboard. Storyboard, yeah. No, but you you strung it together and you." Did I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you strung it together. I did. And yeah. You, and you used some generative AI voice. Yes. It wasn't. And it wasn't. And a script. Mar and yeah. a script. And it wasn't Marcus. No. But the photos were, you did some face. No, no, you didn't even face swap. No. You just got lucky. It. Yeah. <laughs> just got lucky. You got lucky and <laughs> strung it together and we pitched it. Yes. And even ourselves, we didn't know what we were getting into. We just said, well, if he likes it. He'll hire us and we'll do it the old school way. Mm -hmm. Call up our buddies. Yeah. Right? Our yeah. Buddy is Spencer, shout out. And we'll say, hey man, we're we're doing a commercial. Right. A big one. Because it was it was a big idea, right? Right. And the, the whole thing too was even when we were creating creating sort of the storyboards and stuff, we were we were fully intending to shoot this thing. Like it wasn't like it was like, okay, uh, what can we actually produce? Yeah. And what can we do like in an afternoon? And so the idea was we were going to shoot inside a warehouse, like the back room, like an overstock. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? So it's just like, you know, Costco type thing, which is rows and rows of boxes. And we thought we were being cost effective because yeah, we, we said we'll do it like they shoot the Mandalorian where you have that giant sphere, half sphere yes. LED, right? Yes. That can, we can put a warehouse in. Yeah. We can even fake the warehouse. Fake the warehouse. Yeah. Right. Um, well, first there was like, we'll shoot in a real warehouse. And then yeah. we're like, well, actually that would take like possibly two days. Yeah. Or we could shoot it in a virtual studio in an afternoon. Okay. That's even better. Yeah. And then it went from that to why don't we just run yeah. what you guys created <laughs> as a storyboard? Yeah. Marcus literally said, and this is the genius of him, I think. The fact oh, that yeah. he just comes up with this stuff on the fly and he's so resourceful. Mm -hmm. He said, why don't we just run it the way you guys created it and we'll do some variations of it and we'll say at the end, we've generated this video using AI to save you money because it's overstock, right? Right. Everything's about deals. It's so budget. We're so budget minded. <laughs> exactly. We even budgeted this, you know, short budgeted this commercial. Yeah, exactly. And right? so yeah. that turned into... Us creating, I mean, just, I mean, dozens and dozens and dozens of versions of, you know, we need 30 second spots. We need 15 second spots. We need single category spots to highlight certain categories that we mm -hmm. want people to shop in. We want to do um, six second spots. We want to put this stuff on Instagram and, you know, YouTube. Yep. And so it, it turned, and we were able to change the script on the fly. Right. Right. Which, Not do any re-recording. None. Format went from vertical to horizontal, back again. Yeah. I mean, total control. 
Yeah, and it, and it and it kind of worked. This this spots were on rotation. Yeah. Um, we pivoted a little bit. There was some feedback around the voice not sounding like him. Right. So we had him send us audio samples. Um, again, this is Marcus Limonis, the the prophet. Uh, you can Google him. CNBC. CNBC. Um, and so he sent he sent us he texted some sample audio, right? With, yeah, probably just him talking into his iPhone. He he was 100%. Yeah, voice you know. memos. Yes. Yeah, that, he sent yeah. me like two. Right. We plugged him in. Right. And we were able to generate what sounded pretty close to him. I mean, it was his voice. Yeah. And so we were able to get it to be exactly the way he sounded. And then we did use some, ended up using some face swapping tools to make it, some of these characters actually look like him. Because they were about... They look like I don't know what fifty percent Marcus. Yeah, it depends. Like that, like that movie Inner Space. <laughs> you ever seen that movie? <laughs> Which one? With Martin Short. Yes. Inner Space, where he gets injected. Yes. With the uh, the little human. Yes. And then he has to pretend he's the cowboy, and then he he transforms. Oh, I remember. You remember that? that? Yes. Where it's like it's him, but it's not him. Yeah. They're like Ugh. looking at him a little sideways. Yes. Anyways, that's what some of these characters characters look like. Um, yeah. But then the face swapping was so good that it was like spot on. Yeah. Right. And then that turned into, hey, what if Runway had just come out with version two, gen two um, of Runway? And so we said, why don't we try um, making these stills video? And so we started converting the images that we created in um, Mid Journey, mm -hmm. threw them into Runway, and then I mean, all you really needed was three, four seconds. Yeah, in a shot. The short clips. Yeah, and man, like it freaking worked, mm -hmm. right? In some cases, we would face swap. It turned out our workflow worked better when we plugged in the original image without the face swap and okay. runway, and then face swapped the video. Really? Yeah, because a it's video easier to do swap. a deep fake uh -huh. of a video. That's crazy. Then taking the yeah. face swap picture. And making mm -hmm. a video out of it because it would skew the face. And so the videos turned out pretty good. We ended up doing a little sample one, which he loved. And then we even did a little music video sample, if you remember. Um, Do you want to show us any of this stuff? <clears throat> yeah. Actually, or walk us through? I, I will walk you through. Um, let me pull up um, my screen sharing the whole thing here. Lamoni's the kingpin, no smoke and mirrors. Deal so hot, make your vision clearer. Overstock from the warehouse to your door, spitting facts about racks. We got plenty more. This ain't no small chop, it's real inventory. Stacked up high, that's another glory story. Big boss moves, got you living like you trapped. Savvy hustle, breaking banks, no contempt. Lamoni's the man, deals like contraband. From the warehouse right to your hand. Stacking dough, no middleman sham. Overstock deals, that's the real jam. <laughs> um talk talk about the music yeah I'll, I'll i'll go in i'll go in depth how we got to the kind of the final shots yes but talk about the music because that's that's a rap that's a rap that's an overstock marcus limonis yes rap yes it took about 15 seconds to create <laughs> yes right so one of our favorite tools is called Suno. Suno.ai, I believe, right? Yep. Or is it Suno? Suno.com, actually. But what they've done is created, uh, it's just crazy what they've done, is they, they've created a way to generate music. Um, and so there's different ways you can do it. You can just enter a prompt, mm -hmm. and it will sort of generate the, the lyrics and stuff based on that. Or um, you can actually type in the lyrics directly. This is Peach, by the way. Hi, Peach. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't bring my doggy today. Yeah. <laughs> um, what did you say? Peach wants to be on the on the p on the pod. The p a w d. <laughs> the podcast. She wants to be on the pod. <laughs> um, but we Asuno is just mind blowing, and so yeah, you can either. Dude, and, I mean, I could I could do one right now. Yeah, just you can just, just watch. It. So yeah. you'll see here. Do box. one on the the p a w d. Okay. On yeah. Peaches, Peaches podcast. Peaches the corgi, right? Peaches the I corgi. Say Peaches the corgi. Yes. Um, I could say um, podcast for dogs. Yes. 
And then we could say uh, P A P A W D P A W D, so it knows it's the chorus. Yes. Right? Uh, and then we could say hip hop or what style do you want it? Uh, I don't know. Do it. Do it like uh, uh, K pop. K pop. Oh shoot. She's a big K pop. Oh yeah, K pop. So you just hit create. And you'll see here it's it's starting to run here. And you'll see here some of the unboxed ones we did kind of before we started filming here. Um, yeah, so it's no gonna joke. This is gonna take like another five or ten seconds. Yeah, so it's gonna generate this, the lyrics. Yeah, so here it is. And perform it and do cover art. <laughs> crazy. Yeah, see, so it generates the there you cover go. art, which there's the dogs. I suppose you don't doesn't matter much, but no, it's just for show. But here's the lyrics, right? Yes. And so let, let's hear. Pod, pod, podcast, peaches. <laughs> Here it goes. Peaches got the Podcast number one. Corgi tails and tunes. All the vibes we bring. Let's see what the chorus does. I'm curious. Very fast, you know. Let's get up and swing. Here we go. Pop up podcast. <laughs> Peaches leads the way. <laughs> pop up <pop>, podcast. <laughs> Dance the night away. There you go. All right, do, do the next uh, one. That's not very K poppy, but that's good. At Redondo Peach. At Redondo on Instagram. Peach. <laughs> we'll have to give you this track so that she can uh, post it on her Instagram. Yeah. Shout out. <laughs> So you can see here, it's using the same lyrics You're right. with a different arrangement. Mm -hmm. And if you look at below, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's we're just playing a sample of it, but it generated the two minute, 40 second track. Yep. So, and then from there, there you go. Yeah, right, and what's cool, idea. There you go. what's cool too is if you, if you land on a track you like, you can, there's an extend button. Yes. Here on the right. Yes. Where you see it. And it'll just keep going. It'll keep going. Yeah. And you can get really picky with it too. You can say, oh, you know what? I don't like what it did for the chorus or I don't like that verse. Yeah and go back just enough. Um, anyway, it's a fantastic tool. So anyway, we, we yeah, went ahead and, and, and since we're here, I can just talk about it real quick. There's yeah. this, um, you can, you can share the link. It's kind of like unlisted, like YouTube unlisted link. Yes. Um, uh, people can listen to it. Um, you can make it public. That's right. And so that'll show up. In, yeah. If you go to home, you can see yeah. everyone's stuff they put out there. Most of it's, trash yeah I, I it's not great but you you create a whole album i've got over a, the we, summer i've got a whole summer album what is it called uh one of them's called nerd love no what is your your profile oh my called? profile it's called suno mars suno mars so you can look me up suno mars <laughs> some it's got some bops man it's got some bops <laughs> okay i'm not joking um, <laughs> hang tight yep Anyways, but now with Suno, um, not only can we create music for fun just like we did, yeah. but this now replaces what we used to, like stock audio. We've used yeah. uh, different libraries in the past, right, over the years. And I think Envato was maybe the last one we, yeah, that was a we big actually one. paid for, mm -hmm. where we would download tracks, right, for video or for different things. Yep. Um, and now we ju we just create in a few seconds. Yes, something unique. Yeah, I mean, like yesterday, um, we needed some music for the vlog. And usually, we go to like a a loop thing, YouTube, you know, beats or whatever, and then rip it off. Yeah. <laughs> you know, rip it off and use it. And yes. now we just put a few prompts in there and generate a bunch of stuff. It's, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's super powerful. So, and it just keeps getting better, which yeah. is crazy. Like this is 
Charlie and I keep using the phrase like, or you know, the idea that this is as bad as it'll ever be. Totally. So that's just. Phenomenal. So here we go. Let's walk through the workflow. Yes. A little bit. And again, this this is the workflow we ended up using, but you can probably get away with doing it a number of ways um, once you start experimenting. But at the end of the day, just try all the tools until you find what you need and and um, for whatever you know purpose. Um, let me shout these guys out real quick. I'm going to start with Cascade. This is cascade.io. And this is actually, um, just in full disclosure, they're, they're, uh, um, we're advisors yes. for these guys. And mm -hmm. so we've been helping them out with um, their tool quite a bit. Um, so you see here, it's just like a stock search site. And so typically our workflow includes typing in just like you would on a stock site. So I'm just, I need an image of, you know, in the case of Marcus, we needed a very specific, right? Guy in a blue suit, you know, guy in blue suit in a warehouse. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as I can get, right? Yeah. And um, Cascade is still, they're, they're, their models are constantly learning and uh, they're generating images, you know, by the day. So they might not have exactly what we need, but we always start here, right? Yeah. Um, because we can actually train it yeah right? and over time it'll figure out right and it starts um, creating libraries the more people use it the more the better it gets right. right and so what it's showing me here is uh similar results meaning these are images that other people have already generated yeah you said something about a suit right so, so. i said blue suit and came up with blue suit but you can see here it's it's starting to generate yeah, yeah, yeah. images of a guy in the warehouse and again i could be more specific um mm -hmm. And here's one here, right? And so it's a little trial and error. Like you said, it's like going to Vegas and just like hitting yeah. the slot machine. But the idea here is that it's it's just more iterative than, say, like mid-journey. And you don't need to be a prompt engineer. Right. That's the difference here. It's yeah. just searching, right? Yeah. And I so, mean, look at it. Like it's just going to keep going, right? It's just going to keep generating different images until you're sort of like, okay, that's the one I want. Right. And I could be more specific. Obviously, Marcus is a little bit, a little bit older, no facial hair, and so you can be more specific, mm -hmm. um, you know, as you drill down. Um, and so, let's assume I'll, I'll use this one. Um, and again, um, different workflows for different people. If you are a mid-journey user, it has gotten, I don't know, twenty times better than even a year ago when we were first using it. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll see here. Um, some shots of Marcus, and you'll see our prompts here. They're very, very elaborate. And so as you start to figure out what you need, you start to tweak them a little bit, right? And so imagine now taking this image, right, and saying, okay, well, now we're going to create a video out of it, right? Mm -hmm. and so I'm going to go here to... My assets, this is Runway. Let me back up a bit. The first one was Cascade.io. That was image search, generative image search. The second one was uh, midjourney.com, which now is on the web. Yeah. So a huge they, win for that. So yeah. the thing about midjourney is that it was on Discord. And yeah, and it was just it was, so it was, clunky. It was hard to use. And so now you can use midjourney on the web, and it's pretty awesome. Uh, Runwayml.com. This is where we generate um, video content. So you'll see here some videos of Marcus. So in this one here, we took a shot of him sitting in the warehouse on a, whoa. <laughs> hey. it, it, it's not perfect, guys. Yeah. I don't um, know if you guys have seen some of these yeah, crazy, trippy, um, cursed. That's what they call them, cursed images. Blurst. <laughs> Blurst. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, there's some good stuff in here. Um, for example, uh, like when he's when he's dripped out. You see here, like that that's Marcus's face, right? Um, and so actually what we did here is we we took the the shot from mid journey. And I think in this instance, we face swapped it. Because he's facing forward. Yeah, you can really see his face. Right. And because we needed these to be um, 
and high resolution, we actually upscaled them. Right. So there's another tool I don't have on my tab open, but you can search upscaling tools. Um, believe it or not, Sticker Mule has an upscaling tool. I believe it. And I used it to the max. Like it, it would cut me off mm. after, I don't know, half a dozen uh -huh. images per day. Um, but you can upscale it to almost 4K and then bring it in. And so you can see here, camera slowly pans. And so I'm taking the still and I'm telling Runway to pan the camera slowly. And I mean, it's pretty darn good. Yeah. Right? Um, and then here's the exciting thing. This is crazy, right? You saw the, the music video I showed you on the beginning with Marcus, the rap video. This is the original um, video here. You see, that's not Marcus. But you'll see here I'm using Gen 3 Alpha. And so what I did with Gen 3 Alpha is I only provided a prompt. So I didn't mm. I didn't give a reference image. And you'll see here the, the prompt here. Yep. Thin middle-aged businessman wearing a blue suit, no tie, and red hard hat. Short, thin hair. And then I went on to say to add the 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 tape or whatever you call it. Yes. Um the murder tape. <laughs> <laughs> Crime scene. <laughs> Crime scene tape. Yes. And it, dude, it freaking worked. It generated this. Uh -huh. And so then I brought it into another tool, uh, which I'll show you real quick. Um, Myocreate.com. And they have a video face swap tool here. You upload the video from Runway. You upload a pic reference picture. There's a thousand pictures of Marcus on Google. Mm -hmm. I just downloaded one, uploaded it, and then hit face swap. It takes about 30 seconds, and it spits out a video you can you can download. And, you, and it comes out in 1080. So the caveat to video right now is that you're limited to 1080, not 4K. But it doesn't matter. Like, for what we were doing, it was, it was perfect. Yeah. And so that's kind of the workflow. You can do the face swapping. You can play around with face swapping with stills, turning it into video, or vice versa. Mm -hmm. Turn it into a video and then face swap it. Yep. After the fact. You'll see here Myo Create does photo face swap as well. So yep. we used both. <clears throat> they both work just fine. Um, here's another one here, segmind.com. Mm -hmm. These guys, um, again, we're advisors to these guys too, but um, these guys have these uh, workflows that you can create for face swapping. And so you'll see here we use Marcus as a reference picture here. My lighting me zoom in. And then a source photo, which we generated in mid journey, mm -hmm. right? And then output. Yep. There he is. They're pretty darn good. Damn. High quality too. Yep. Yay. And so the nice thing about um his wife couldn't tell the difference. That was it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, her. that's right. And she's like, "Is that is that is that you?" Yeah, I mean, she couldn't tell. It. Right. She's like, "Dang." Yeah, and with Segmind, it's a little bit more, I would say, more for an advanced, a little bit more advanced. Yeah, but user. to me, it's. I mean, zoom out for a second. Yeah. I mean, it's this is the future. It's I drag think. and drop. That's the difference. Yeah. Right. And it's but it's full control, so you can see, unlike Mid Journey and and even Runway, where you're doing it as a single prompt and hoping for the best this you get to control yeah step by step and that's that's i mean this is this is easy for what it can do you can string 20 steps together yeah um, exactly and yeah and, and you'll see here how they're strung together yeah and you can do this you can create backgrounds foregrounds actors mm -hmm. and you can just tell it to do it all together in fact you could probably we could have probably at some point in the future do the whole flow that we've done totally through this. Yeah. What we were doing was manual. Yes. Totally manual. Totally we could manual. have had the reference face here. And then you, this would have been the closet shot, backyard shot, warehouse yeah. shot, like all in here. Yeah. And then spit out yeah. all your images. Yeah. Right. So yeah, this, so this uses stable diffusion models. Right. Um, which are, I mean, maybe three, four months behind mid journey mm -hmm. right now. So it's just a matter of time before they, they equal out, but, but yeah. a really powerful tool.
Totally. So image generation using tools like Cascade Midjourney, uh, video generation using Runway ML. We have tried other other ones that weren't quite as good. Yeah. What were some of the other ones we were playing? I think it's with? called like it's called Lightroom or what is it called? Um. So, because we never got Sora Luma. access, Luma. Luma. Oh, that's right. Luma is another one. Mm -hmm. Not great, but another option. Yeah. Um, I think Runway right now. I'm loving it quite a bit. I'm still using. Um, in some cases, you'll see here when you go and create. Um, because uh, we've been putting some stuff on Instagram. That's stories format. Yeah. And so for for that, you need Gen 2. And Gen 2 is still great. And so is we've it? been able yeah. to generate some pretty nice shots using Gen 2 just from a prompt without even a reference image, just typing in whatever, right? Um, and you'll see here, they do allow you to change the aspect ratio. So there's the 9 by 16, which yeah. is pretty sick. Um, Gen 3 obviously is way better, but you cannot change the aspect ratio. It has it's less controls uh, here. Yeah. Um, and then Gen 3 Alpha Turbo um, supposed to be faster, I think, but it does require an image, source image. And so that's the difference between the three. Mm -hmm. um, and I've played around with all of them. They're all pretty great. Um, and you'll see here we have like 1,500 credits left, but these tools are all relatively cheap. And so what I mean by that is yeah. when we're hitting spin on the slot machine, we're still playing with nickels. It's nickel slots, absolutely we're nickel, nickel slots. slots right now. Hundred percent, and 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 we laugh in a way because we're just like, dude, they could have charged five. Dude, we could bucks. have been in the dollar slot, dude. Section, we right? would have been a high dollar slot, high, high roller room, oh, dude. We would have been. You know those those rooms in, in Vegas? You're like, yeah, off dude, to these the guys side. Are spinning twenty, yes, twenties. You know, <laughs> dude. we're over here playing. N nickel pennies yeah <laughs> we're like what's that what's it what's the what's the strip that's off of the vegas one the when it's covered oh the fremont street the fremont street yeah dude, <laughs> dude there's those guys are still walking around with buckets yeah remember with the the, the quarters yes you're like <laughs> dude that's it's so ridiculous how affordable this stuff is yeah. and it's now and and charlie and i were talking about this we're like look they could have charged 10 times as much taken 10 times as long oh, and yeah. given us something 10 times worse than what we're getting. And we still would we, be like, this is freaking mind blowing. We'd be happy with We'd them. be totally thrilled, yeah. but they didn't, they just went for it. Yeah. Like they just went for it. And I just, it's just mind blowing how 100%. advanced this is. And I'm telling you what, man, if you're a young person out there, young creative that has aspirations or wants to build a business around, something related to content creation or video like there is zero excuses today to say well i can't afford the gear or i can't afford you know dude. whatever it is you dude. don't need any gear anymore no dude i'm this is my mark my words this is my mmw is in the future i don't know how far this will take but this could this will bring on some sort of renaissance of sorts just like totally, you know, and wait. And we've been talking about this for years, actually, but just wait until you don't have to open premiere. Yeah. Cause that's the one last sort of thing. Yeah. That's I mean, left look here. At the, th these have like the learning curve is like 30 minutes. Yeah. You know, yeah. but you get in these other tools after effects, stuff like that. I mean, that was, that takes, that takes effort. Yeah. hundred percent. You do stuff like this and you can get a result just as easily. It's just going to open up the creative field totally, to so totally. many people, totally. you know, even if you just want to do it as a hobby, it's just going to, it's so fulfilling. I mean, even the video guys that were trying to scope out the big shoot for us. Yes. When we told them the direction we were taking, we said, well, we showed them this AI spot, you know, as a, as a sample. <laughs> even they said, yeah, don't do that. Because <laughs> now they're like, we lost out on yeah, potentially for sure know, a bigger pro production. But these are guys that are old school, yeah, right? That aren't thinking forward thinking and how this well, stuff is going to change. To their to their to their uh, defense, they they were the ones to suggest the virtual studio. Sure. So sure. we we were like we were like, hey, let's just go shoot this in a warehouse, yeah. and they were like, you don't even have to do that, right? No, you're right. Yeah. So 
So there are sort of like, you know, I think the I think you have to sort of at this point be looking ahead and figuring out how this is going to work. But I think you have to embrace it at some point just mm -hmm. so you can sort of use it. You can leverage that. Yeah. Uh, Let, let's round the base here. Yeah, let's it's do going that. on too too long here. Yeah, we're probably rambling. And so <laughs> let's go to Eleven Labs. This is where we generate the voice. This is the one yes. piece we haven't talked about. We kind of jumped from the music and then went all the way back. Yes. Um, and this so is talk, talk about that. You're the one that found this one. Yeah. So Eleven Labs is. Uh, I mean, they've been building stuff for music and sound for a long time. Their whole thing. In this case, is they you can you can use some of their voices that they've already created, or you can upload your own. And so at first, we just used one of their stock voices mm -hmm. that sounded like sort of a loud guy from New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, like, oh, it that wasn't, like it wasn't bad. It, no, it's, when you when you had the visual, it kind of sounded like him. Yeah, but it, it was forgivable. Yes, but you know, people online because he's a celebrity, it was like. Yeah, they, you, just, they could just tell a little bit. So, yeah. So well, like I can you show said, you here. Um, so what do you yes. do? You just, you just type in the script, right? Yeah, you, you just, just type in the script. In here. And just like, yeah, and you can, in this case, you can render it per line. And so right. it's really the tool, this specific piece of it is really made for audiobooks. That's right, what it was right. sort of the, the use case. But we're using it just sort of as a... And, and again, this, this little reader. regenerate button here. That was yeah. our version of the little slot machine we keep talking about. Yes. Because sometimes it, the, it wouldn't enunciate the right words. Right. So we would have to keep keep hitting the the, the button right. to get what we wanted. But right. it didn't take take much effort. No. So you'll see here there's a little bit of a script, right, that we have here. And yeah. so if I play it, it's going to play, again, it's going to play in this Marcus Limonis voice. But this is one that we trained, that we created from those voice memos. Right. So it's going to sound like him. Here, I'll play it real quick. I'm Marcus Limonis, and I'm serious about business. Our team is is working around the clock. So you see, how, so you see how it changed, right? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because the deals and deliver the goods. So <laughs> we hunt for factories to work with. I'll tell you why it changed. See, it says here, Marcus, too. Yeah. And what we did is we got a podcast yes. interview yeah, we just started scouring the internet. Right, we ripped one off, and we uploaded it as res reference audio. Yeah, but he was just very monotone, just kind of speaking voice. So it it did that. Yeah, and so when we had him record and redo or send us the voice memo, we told him just be emphatic, like speak the way you want the spot to sound. Yeah, without reading the whole script, right? Yeah, and he did. He gave us like 30, 40 seconds of that. And and that's what we end up with. So if you see here, I can type in whatever I want. Um, see if it even it recognizes the uh, the the hyphen or the uh, abbreviation. Yeah. Welcome to the B O X. B O D. P O B. Oh, make sure you change it. It says it's Matilda up there. Oh yeah. So you see here the voice. You change it to Marcus, and then let's see what happens. Welcome to the B-O-X-P-O-D. 15 second-ish. I'm Marcus Limonis, and our team... There it is, okay, right? There you go, yep. And so... Yep. You can really leverage this to create, you know, what would be talking heads. Yeah. Right? And for our, for our case, it was more than a talking head. It was like, he was narrating, like, very high-paced... Yes. High energetic, high energy spot. Right. And, and you, it totally worked. And you can even see how some of the words are uh, capitalized. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That actually has uh, an effect on the inflection. Right. Yeah. Right. So he'll mm -hmm. emphasize those things. If you put things in quotations, he'll sort of pause and mm -hmm. he'll emphasize those words. So there's sort of, this one doesn't use prompt engineering the same way as the other tools, but you can sort of in how you write it prompt it. Yeah. And that's only going to get better. I mean, I can, I see, I foresee a time not to distant future where you're able to actually like inflect the tone, sure. right? Like slow down, pause, speed up. Yeah. Even within a sentence. Totally. Someone's going to do it if they haven't already. And we haven't yeah. discovered another tool. Right. Cause, uh, I've been playing around with, um, trying to string together somewhat of a short film. 
and I mean like 60 seconds from runway with some dialogue, but it's impossible with this because it just spits out, you know, in the, whatever pacing it wants. Yeah. And so it, it's not quite there yet, but I, I imagine a day where you can say, here's the dialogue, but this, you're directing it. Yes. Like a movie director. Like in a studio. Yes. Yeah. And so it's like, you, instead of directing an actor, you're directing a bot, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Use this voice. This is the character you are. Yeah. And here's what I need, the emotion, and this is what I need to get out of you. Right. And then here's Sally speaking now, mm -hmm. and this is what I want out of that. So you're literally like a director, but now you're directing. And this is the future, guys. Mark my words. Yeah. You're going to be a director to bots. Yeah. Right. And you're going to, you're going to say, no, say it like, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. Yeah. and you're going to say it and be like, okay, I got it. And then they'll say, yeah, oh, you're going to tell it. it. Nope. That's not right. You Just should like, be afraid right now. Or you're, you're nervous. Right. Because of the information you just, or whatever the situation yeah. is, you give it context, color, mm -hmm. and then it's going to spit it out exactly the way you want it. Yeah. hundred percent. It's going to yeah. happen. So Hollywood, Hollywood better watch out. Yeah. Well, and another cool thing here, and there's a whole thing. Do you hear, you know, how James Earl Jones passed away? Yes, yes. And they were saying how before he died, they were able to were they? capture his voice. So Genius. who knows where Genius. he'll reappear. Um, but what's interesting with, with 11 labs, they have another tool that they're building, uh, that they just released in beta that replicates sound effects. So you can okay. say, you know, explosion, Horse trotting, gunfire. Yeah. You know, busy city street and it'll, it'll generate the sound effect. Time machine, it. DeLorean. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> it's crazy. And everyone, what I love is, you know, with with all these tools is everyone's sort of finding their niche and it's yeah. all but but when you sort of use them and start start to weave them together it's just incredible yeah it's incredible check it out guys 11labs.io play around with it we'd mm -hmm. love to hear whatever tools you guys are using as well if you're listening to this uh let's wrap this up i'll do a quick little recap okay uh cascade.io for searching images, midjourney.com for generating images, runwayml.com for generating video, segmind.com for workflows and potentially face swapping, yeah. bulk workflows for generative AI, myocreate.com for face swapping images and video, Levin Labs for generating audio, and Suno dot com for generating music that's our workflow love to hear what your workflows are um like i said we're actively using them in the agency we've been around a while since 2011 so we're not new we've been around and this we, has just been game changing we've done it the hard way <laughs> for a <Yeah>. long time <laughs> yeah so yeah percent we've done it all the different ways so this is great and so the last piece of the puzzle is going to be the editing Yes. Editing. We've been saying this forever. The, the fact that we have to edit hard files in our computers is stupid. Yeah. It's just like Figma, right? We need the video version of Figma. It's the last mile. The That's Figma, the... I'll say, I said it backwards. The Figma version of video editing yes. is the last piece, collaborative yeah. Yeah. creation. It's, it's last mile. That's last mile. Is. Someone's going to get there um, yeah. in disrupt that that whole thing please <laughs> anyways any last last words here um no it's it's a lot of fun i encourage everyone to go and give it a try uh don't be afraid can't break it yeah um and uh yeah go experiment you know i mean i don't think this is going to change the industry overnight but eh, a couple of years from now mm -hmm. you're going to want to you're going to want to have you know have some working understanding of this stuff. Yeah. So. And maybe next time we'll go into some of the workflows we use for the website work and some of the creative work we do. Yeah. Because we did use some um, AI for some of the strategy work that yes. we put together. Mm -hmm. Which you, you, you kind of led that. In, yeah, we're using it for training. strategy, for, for copywriting. We're using it for images on the website. Brand index. Yes. So it is. It, it's becoming a, a definite yeah. augmented tool. We'll for do the that listening. next time for the teams. Um, the next episode, um, we'll go a little bit into 
entrepreneurship, launching a business. We work with quick, you know, their 10 second background on Sitebox. We um, work with startups. We've helped probably, I don't know, 50 or so. And so we know the ins and outs of not just launching a startup, but what is what is the backbone of that? What do, how do you how do you create an invoice? What you know, time tracking tools do you use? What um, project management tools do you use? So we have all kinds of tools we use for that stuff since we've been running our business. I think uh, be valuable. Yeah, for any Unless, entrepreneur or, or startup founder out there, right? Looking to not just have the idea, but also what's next. You know, aside from building the thing. How do I actually make a business, right? So that I'm a legitimate business. And so we have tools and, you know, insight into yeah. some of that. We'll talk about next yeah. time. Yeah, and a whole list of what not to do. Yeah. So we are Sightbox. I'm Charlie. This is Nathan. And a shout out to our team here. Yeah. Shout out. We're creative. Yeah. We're doing this whole setup. Yeah. Um, coolest Link dudes. Link down below. Yeah. Coolest dudes. Um, so, yeah, we're excited about this uh, new podcast and... We hope people tune in. Hopefully we didn't bore you. And yeah, tune in. Check us out. We're sitebox.co. S-I-G-H-T. B-O-X. Dot C-O. We're on all social media at Sitebox Studios. Um, I'm Charlie Hinojosa. I'm Nathan Thompson. At, at Charlie Hinojosa. Yeah. I'm at Howdy Nate. And um, we'll catch you on the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Sight bots, un bots, when we open the door. New podcast dropping like never before. Tech and AI, here we got the cure. Founders for founders, the vision is pure.